thousands of rescue teams are working in Sichuan province. One is a team from Tangshan, a city that was leveled by a massive earthquake back in 1976, and they are in Mianzhu's Jiulong County. Many of these rescuers are themselves survivors of, a of the devastating quake 32 years ago, a city in North China. The Tangshan medical team is set up in front of what was once Mianzhu's Jiulong County government building. Inside their tents, medical personnel are working hard to tend the victims. This is Li Changjiang, the head of Tangshan People's Hospital Orthopedics Department. Li was eight years old when the Tangshan earthquake struck in 1976, leaving him buried in debris. He was rescued. The PLA dug his sister out from the rubble and flew her to the hospital in Liaoning. She lost both legs, but she survived. Today, she continues to receive assistance from the government. After hearing about the Sichuan earthquake, my sister had tears in her eyes. She said to me, please go there and return the favor for me. Li was the first volunteer to join Tangshan's medical team after hearing about the quake in Sichuan. Li and his co-workers arrived in Wenchuan May 14th. As soon as they arrived, Li immediately went to work. He spoke to victims. Over a short period of one day, he performed 11 surgeries. I hope with my help, people can rebuild their homes and their community with their own hands. Medical team member Yang Hong lost both parents in the Tangshan earthquake. With help from the government, he completed his schooling and was accepted to Hebei's medical school. After graduating med school, he started working in Tangshan People's Hospital's neurosurgery department. His parents had worked there before the earthquake took their lives. In 2001, Yang Hong traveled to the U.S. for further study. He returned to China in 2005 after declining job offers in the U.S. As soon as the news broke out about Winchuan's quake, he volunteered to go to the worst hit area. Because of the Tangshan earthquake, I can never see my parents again. But I was still lucky. The government took very good care of me. The oldest of the team members is a former nurse from Tangshan Hospital, Wang Xiurong. In 1976, seven of her relatives perished in the Tangshan disaster. She now lives with her only surviving relative, her grandmother. A day before the Wenchuan quake, Wang's grandma fell ill and was hospitalized. Wang, stricken with worry for her grandmother, volunteered to go to Sichuan. Elderly people swept up in the Sichuan catastrophe are constant reminders of her grandma. The first medical team had only 40 volunteers. Around 3,000 people volunteered. It's extremely moving. Everyone hoped for an opportunity to thank the government and all those who helped them.